SAP UFA Runtime Environment Basic elements of the SAP UFA Runtime Environment include the topics of bootstrapping, data binding and theming. The runtime environment ensures that application programs run on appropriate operating systems and that the software modules can be reused. Bootstrap In the bootstrap section, the source which we write inside the script that is SAP UI core.js is a JavaScript resource and the SAP UI commons, the library which we mentioned, is the required UI libraries and for the theme gold reflection which we mentioned is a desired page design. So again, the bootstrap can be seen as three different sections, JavaScript resource, required UI libraries and desired page design. SAP UFA resources. SAP UA5 is divided into several JavaScript and UI libraries. You should embed only those resources that you need for the development of the application. SAP UA Core.js is the most frequently used library. You can use the key combination Control plus Alt plus Shift plus P in the web browser when testing any application from Eclipse to determine the runtime version of any SAP UFI application. The runtime version display is particularly useful for troubleshooting because the loaded modules are displayed and you can also switch directly to debug mode. And libraries, depending on the controls used in your application, you have to embed the relevant library in the bootstrap. If you forget to embed the necessary libraries in bootstrap, the system displays the relevant error message. For example, SAP UI table is undefined in the console of the browser development tool. And page design. In addition to the various JavaScript resources and UI libraries, various themes are also delivered in the standard system, which you define in the bootstrap and which can change the page design. Currently, the following themes are provided in the standard system that is, gold reflection, platinum, blue, blue crystal, high contrast black and SAP Mobile Visual Identity only available for mobile applications. Data binding. Data binding is used to bind SAP UFA controls to a data source that holds the application data that is model so that the controls are updated automatically whenever the application data is changed. With two-way binding the application data is updated whenever the value of a bound control changes example through user input data binding supports binding of simple controls like text field and list type controls like data table and drop down box ui uses data binding to bind ui controls to the model data binding models mapping of data to objects or the representation of data by objects. Data binding is a technique that links two data or information sources together in order to keep them in sync. Means SAP UFA application is to display data from the backend 
and if possible to communicate to the back end and keep in sync changes in the front end due to user interactions SAP UFA supports four data binding models or patterns so M stands for model that is application data we can define different models for a single application the first one JSON model second one XML model resource model all three are client side models and the last one OData model which is a server side model we can define different models for a single application a web application should support several data sources like JSON, XML, Atom or OData. Depending on the selected data model, generate a corresponding model, load the data into the model and bind it to the UI control. SAP UFA provides the following binding models. Binding modes one way from model to view and two way that is model to view and view to model and one time only once from model to view one way one way binding means a binding from the model to the view value changes in the model update all corresponding bindings and the view Two way. Two way binding means a binding from the model to the view and from the view to the model. Value changes in the model and in the view update all corresponding bindings and the view and model respectively. And one time, one time binding means from model to view only once. Theme designer in SAP system. The transaction code for this is ui 5 slash theme underscore designer. In transaction SICF, these two services must be active. That is SAP public BC themes and SAP BC theming. And you need authorization object that is ui 5 theme. And the transaction for exporting theme from SAP backend is UFL slash theme underscore tool. These are about SAP UFA runtime environment. In the next video, we will see the Eclipse IDE installation. Thank you.